Alright, um, people have been asking me about Chai Global. Last I heard, he was supposed to be taking over for me at YouTube Jail. I checked in at YouTube Jail, and he's not checked in. I cannot answer any more questions about Chai Global. And now, all you folks out there who bash President Obama, President Barack Obama, you wasn't acting this outraged about George Bush. You didn't act like this about Clinton. All this shit that you're talking about the president and the manner and the way you're doing it is solely because this man is black. And I'm telling you, he's doing no more than any other American president. He came into office with two wars. A <laughs> deficit beyond all human belief. A deficit inherited by a group of presidents before him. So please, when you say he's ruining something or he's messing something up, what is he ruining? What is he? How is he messing up? I'm not a big, great Barack Obama fan in any way, shape, or form. But give the man an opportunity and a chance. It has almost been one year. One year. The last president was in office for eight years. And when he inherited his office, there was a surplus of money. And when that president, before that president took office, he was in office for eight years. He built a surplus from a iffy iffy situation at best from a president who had been the vice president for eight years you understand what I'm saying so 12 years before Clinton eight years with Clinton Eight years with Bush. This man has been in office one year. How in the hell can you say all that has happened on his watch is his fault? He says, let's spend our way out of it. And some will say spending got us in this no, spending did not get us in the problem that we're in. Special interest did. Once we allowed the banks and the creditors to allow the American people to be manipulated, that's what brought us down. Not the black man that has been in charge for one year. It's like a football team. The United States of America is a huge team with a losing record for eight years. Bill Clinton might have gave people jobs. You guys wasn't paying nothing. People wasn't going crazy. And apparently people earned enough money to start doing drugs during the Clinton era. Right? When people do drugs because of oppression, uh, withdrawal, denial, and very, very, very sad circumstances. And there's a large group of Americans never seen in any of this. But hey, it's okay. Let's blame it all on the black guy that's been in charge for one year. You didn't raise up at all 
when you thought George Bush was doing something until George Bush was about to leave. The anger that you have for Barack Obama is actually the leftover anger from George Bush. But you did not have the guts, the balls, or the brains to even say anything against the fellow white man. So you just going to take it out on this martyr, this pansy. I am tired of seeing our society fall for this. This guy gets the Nobel Peace Prize and they got Newt Gingrich talking about, he don't deserve it. He don't deserve it. He don't deserve it. They are mad at... It's funny that the world sees our president in a different light than we do. There's a reason why they see him as someone different than we do. You folks in America see him as, oh, wow, he's going to ruin it. Ruin what? He's going to mess up what? He's going to break what? What, 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 what is he going to do that you haven't already done? We do live in a police state. People get arrested just so for revenue. Revenue. You only worth a damn dollar. You ain't got no damn job to arrest you. You ain't worth that. Revenue. And we have a president want to try to get people health care and everything. No. No. Hell, no. Go ahead. Let a bunch of sick people run around here and snotty noses and, and looking pitiful. People outside with signs talking about their work for food. Shit, somebody give you a job for food, you're going to damn fall dead trying to live something trying to get to work. That sick and illness. People walking around with, with diseases and shit and we don't even know. Same people working at a damn restaurant and you don't give a damn if they got health care or not. Might have some shit sneezing on your damn food. Oh my lord, I'm start cussing. Well, I'm just tired of this Obama bashing and another thing. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. This is a special message for Tiger. I think I man, Tiger, if I could give you any advice, it would be this. I got my money. Apparently I got my health. And if you want to turn your nose up on me, fine. It costs you more to want me than me to have you. And you give them exactly what they're giving you right now, Tiger. Because they build you up as a child to break you down as an adult. You see how Michael Jackson went out. So now let me um, finish this off. Stop blaming the blame, 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 the blame, blame game. Wake up. Get out. Read about what is going on around you. And just, just be a, uh, a better individual. And, and stop all this bullshit you know and before you bash anybody do what Michael Jackson said start with the man in the mirror 